My name is Jeremy Letts. I work for the Nevada Department of Wildlife. I'm up here in beautiful Roseburg, Oregon. I'm at your guys' regional office. We, uh, we made a 14-hour trek yesterday across um, Denio, Lakeview. Just some beautiful, beautiful country. Snowyville, for sure, but um, awesome trek. The purpose of this trip was to come up here and get about 100 mountain quail um, that were, sounds like, trapped locally within 90 miles from here. Um, and what we're really trying to do is establish a population south of Battle Mountain, Nevada, which is mostly central Nevada, in a mountain range called the Fish Creek Mountains. Um, historically, we don't know if there was mountain quail in there. We don't think so, but it, the habitat is, is ready for it right now through some uh, different conservation measures, mostly proper livestock grazing. Um, we've seen a tremendous response with timing of the livestock grazing in there, mainly not during the hot season. So our riparian areas are looking really good. So this is just an effort working with ODFW to get some birds and see if we can not get a, a sustainable population. We, uh, we really appreciate the partnership with Oregon and we hope we can continue this project next year and for many years down the road. Hi, I'm Julia Burko. I'm one of the wildlife veterinarians with Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. And we are here today sampling a bunch of mountain quail. Um, we're doing some disease testing prior to sending them to um, Nevada. We also send some of these guys to other places in Eastern Oregon where they're not doing so well. So it's part of a conservation effort, both in different parts of our state and other states that the mountain quail aren't doing well. So what we're doing is just doing a general health check um, making sure they're healthy and not spreading diseases to the new location that they're going. Um, make sure that they're going to travel safely as well. And I also have a vet student visiting us mm -hmm. who's helping out, uh, Laura. She's visiting from Virginia, Maryland. Um, and so she can help get some experience handling wildlife and um, learning about different wildlife disease issues. So yeah, so now I'm just going to check out and see how healthy these birds are. And we'll get a blood sample as well. Okay, so now we're going to get a blood sample. Where do we feel how fat you are? Let's make sure you're shooting. So you are a fat quail, so you've been eating well. Mm -hmm. Get a good body condition score. Okay, so now we have a blood sample where we can do some disease testing on this 